we're going to add a company to your database. There are three ways to get to the Add a Company screen. First, you can go to Customers. You can go down to New and then New Company. I'm going to click off of that now. The second way is simply to go to this New Company icon right here in the middle of this instrument on your dashboard. And the third way is to go to the toolbar, click the down arrow next to New, and then click on New Company. Let's go to the New Company screen and see what it looks like. On the New Company screen, let's quickly enter an example. Let's say you have a prospect whose name is Prologis. And right now, they're a prospect. Do you see prospect is checked here? They're not a client yet because you haven't done business with them. Once you've successfully created an order for this company and saved that, then their status will change from prospect to client. Let's go down and uh, fill in some of the information, the contact information. Okay, let's put in a number. And as you can see, there's lots of other information that we can fill in here. We can put in a, a salesperson on it, on this particular uh, company. And these would actually be names of employees that you would have in your shop, not generic names like we have in this demo data set. Uh, sometimes you have, may have a second salesperson that's also working on that that you want to be able to track accounts by. Uh, you definitely want to mention which industry they're in. In this case, let's say Prologis is in the real estate industry, commercial. And where was the or what is the origin of where you found this contact? Very, very important for your marketing purposes to understand which types of marketing and sales are yielding the best fruit. And if you're covering multiple areas, you may want to also indicate a region. Sometimes this is helpful as salespeople or customer service people are going through the database to determine who they can call when uh, to have those sorted, sortable by region. In some cases, you may have a pricing plan. And the pricing plan is an easy way to give your customer or put your customer in a certain pricing plan category. Perhaps it's 5% off as a standard rule. And that way you don't have to worry about uh, every salesperson necessarily remembering that because over time there may be tons of accounts, hundreds of accounts that they might be working with. Um, it, or it could even be a pricing plan that adds 5% because you know this particular customer likes a higher level of service than your standard customer. As you can see there are lots of different fields having to do with taxes, having to do with different locations, shipping locations, etc. Down in the bottom you'll notice a couple of fields one called flags and one called notes. Flags is an easy way to have a pop-up reminder show of critical information that you want your person, your employee to know as they're working on this customer's uh, projects or as they're talking to this customer. Uh, flags will pop up as you go to save an order and in a couple other places throughout the system. Notes are key summary information that you might want to include. It might be about their preferences, it might be about other other parts of your relationship with that particular customer. Let's look at the contacts tab. Control enables you to have multiple contacts for each prospect or client. Let's go and add one. Okay, let's say it's John. And perhaps John is a regional vice president with them and naturally if you have birth date and things of that nature you want to fill it in because it's a an easy way to stay in touch and, and give those customer service touches that sometimes help to make a difference in a relationship uh, and there are lots of other items you may want to include uh, information to track definitely email address and if he has a direct phone number you can fill that in here uh, you can even put in a fax or you can put in a cell phone number by filling it in like this. And let's just fill in a sample cell phone number. Okay. 
Now there are several notes there are several other types of information that you can collect on a contact. If you notice these sub tabs here, these are all relevant or specific to this contact. So for instance, let's go to something called user defined fields. These are some sample fields that we set up in the system. They're just ways to kind of trigger your mind to plant some seeds on types of information you might want to collect in your sales and marketing process or in for those key accounts or for customers that are willing to refer you to other prospects that may want to do business with you. These are very easy to change. These are called UDFs or user defined fields by the way and there'll be a vi training video on these a little further down in the basic training web page. Okay, next let's go back up to the company level again and these tabs up here are for information at the company level and let me show you one more that I want to point out it's the user defined fields at the company level and again these are loaded in as an example of some of the types of fields that you might want to collect at the company level as your salespeople and your marketing people are out there prospecting and, and trying to further develop the relationships with those good accounts that they have. We've taken these exact same fields and we've put them in a custom layout and as you can see here they look a little different. It's a little nicer of a view and it gives you a little more flexibility in how you organize the information. And again here you can see this is a good setup for collecting information about the needs that your prospect might have both what they need and who their current provider is. Um, also some information about your, the prospecting efforts and then finally some information about the forecast and down on the bottom I'm going to scroll down a little bit here about the forecast and about the company. Collecting this information in particular on key accounts is very very useful it'll enable your sales and marketing people and your customer service people to provide a higher quality of service and to do a better job of building the relationship and, and capturing new business and one final tab let's click, click on the financial tab if you're giving your customer terms or if they have a certain amount of credit this is where you'd want to put that information in and again it makes it easy for the system uh, to record that information so that everybody in your organization that works with this customer or prospect is aware of what the terms are. Finally let's click the save button on the right hand side and if we've forgotten anything it's okay it's not a big deal the system will prompt the user to fill in the information. This completes our process of setting up a new company and just to finish let's go back to the Explorer I'm going to close this this particular company record let's go black back to the company Explorer right here and click on the magnifying glass button click on explore companies and we'll see right down here that client is checked but prospect is not checked and we notice that Prologis is not showing up let's check prospects so we can see the prospects in our database as well and you probably already noticed that Prologis has shown up here. So you've successfully added a new company to your database. Enjoy your working with the, the database and control. I hope it's very successful for you.